Tension has continued escalating among stakeholders ahead of the poll next year. But like always, next year's elections are of no exception when it comes to the electoral process. The civil side organization, which is equally divided, is making sure that ECZ is not left alone in the voter registration process. At the media briefing in Lusaka, a consortium of NGOs submitted its expectations. States, they have never managed 100% voter turnout, 100% voter registration. It is universally accepted that 85%, anything above 75%, 85% is very, very good for our democracy. To buttress this point, I want to revert back to the statement. It says, the last voter registration update, which was conducted by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, between September 2015 and February 2016, managed to capture 1,535,419. Bring the total number of eligible voters to 80% of the overall projected population. Group leader Andrew Ntewewe has advised the commission not to prolong the voter registration as it announces on Tuesday. I think that the shorter extension will be able to meet the 80 to 85 percent registration, which I have indicated is universally accepted. That's number one. Number two, those against the use of the new register are bent on wanting the commission to run out of time. That will not move. So the activities that ECZ must be able to do, all of them must be done within this particular period. So an elongated extension will render delivering other activities impossible. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. That's true. We do not want ECZ to fail in the quest to give Zambia's Zambians a new voters register. And for this reason, we will employ ECZ that you cannot elongate the process of registration much longer because elongating it would mean compromising other activities that are important. The consortium has also alleged that there is a grouping advancing a regime change in the electoral process. We have noted that there has been an orchestrated partisan stance that has been taken by other monitors on the ground. Is that we have at disposal. Exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the recent remarks by the CC, C, 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 CMG. CMG is of great concern in that, uh, first of all, they talk about the issue of debt. They have taken um, a biased position. Yes, we must discuss why we have debt, but we cannot discuss debt in isolation. When we are discussing why Zambia has contracted debt, we have to discuss why ways that, that money has been spent. We have to discuss about developmental projects that have taken place in our country. We have to discuss about the infrastructure. When they call to one's exercising their right to vote when that has been done or when that pronouncement has been said and the demonstration for young people to fall in place meanwhile the christian coalition cc is so far happy with the process coalition is president charles mwape has announced the extension is a clear indication that the Commission believes that every Zambian must be given an opportunity to register as voter. As long as they are eligible, they are of age, they have the national registration for them to speak through a ballot paper next year. The collision now appeal to the Zambians in general and the christians in particular that rise up in numbers and register as voters so that you can speak next year on who you want to become your area member of parliament 
who you want to become your ward councillor and who you want to become the council chairperson or the mayor and above all who you want to become a president for movie tv news innocent Perry.